When you're moving through the landscape, you're actually moved in some way. And then it's a matter of, of how you respond to that. I tend to prioritise objects or shapes or form in the landscape. I look at it from a multitude of perspectives. It's a story, it's a narrative. And as with this exhibition here at Swan Hill, is it's about reimagined narrative. So I'm seeing what's there, feeling what's there, and then responding, not pictorially as it is, but as it feels to me so that I get the same feeling when I place the, the image on a wall. So you're trying to reproduce the feeling from one to the other. Board is a very, an events are a very important part of community and culture. My father's here today with me, so he was a, a football coach. He, we played in the football grand final together. And there's usually action and colour and movement, so that really gets me feeling like I, I, I want to paint this. So it's, once again, there's something that happens, there's a response, a feeling, and that try and transpose that to a, to a canvas. My upbringing, living beside a volcano in the Western District and climbing that volcano gave me that perspective, looking down on the landscape and seeing what was there and then being able to, in your own mind, prioritise what was there. You actually don't know what you're going to end up with and that's the joy of creating art. The thumbnail sketches, which are the sort of mini sketches I do, it's a problem solving activity moving towards a final reproduction. The real important part of the art is not the end product necessarily, it's all the process of creating or making or thinking about it that goes beforehand. So part of the process when creating those thumbnail sketches is essentially visualising yourself in the landscape. So that might be from a, from a bird's eye view, but also on the ground um, and what's on the ground and then from a macro, micro view and trying to understand what's in the landscape. Okay, I then move to the thumbnail sketches and then I move from the thumbnail sketches to a final creation, a final artwork that I do. It's a real problem solving activity. And I think for me, that's the joy, is how do you come up with the perspective, the reimagined narrative or story of how you come up with something that fits with what you're trying to achieve. Failure and making mistakes is a part of the process. And I think you've got to, got to accept that there will be things that will go wrong. That's the great thing about acrylics is, is you can forgive yourself and paint over it and, and go again. So you have to add the doing, but there has to be a reflective moment and creating your own reflective moments, like my reflective moments of you know, going for a walk or going for a bike ride. That's where I think about how I do a painting. Or listening to music is another really good one where you listen to music and you reflect on what's happening and then all of a sudden the light comes on and you worked out, wow, I didn't think of that. Or you see something on the, out of the corner of your eye and that promotes you to go, well, that's how I'm gonna do that painting. It's always sitting in your head, but you've got to create those reflective moments for yourself. You can't be continually going, doing, doing, doing. You have to create the reflective time.